Hello, blessings everyone. Blessings. This is a message to the women of God who have been standing, who are still standing, um, and who have been joined. Um, this can relate. This message and this word from God can relate and correlates to your life and how you how things took place and how things going to take place in some of you women's lives. So we have read in the Bible, many of you that does seek God for confirmation and revelation, that seeks his face and stays in prayer. God has confirmed things to you concerning your king, concerning your God-ordained spouse. Because he gave you this desire of marriage, you have longed to be a wife. Um, this is your assignment and this is your man mantle that you know of because God orchestrated it all. God is was the author in your love story for your kingdom marriage. Because who doesn't desire to have a beautiful, um, tight-knit marriage? Especially... Now that we know God and who he is, one that comes from him, that is eternal, that is everlasting, um, that is fruitful and steadfast, that is, uh, what is it? What's the word, God? Um, that you know God is faithful. So you know this promise is, um, a, is from a promise keeping God and he keeps his word. Who doesn't want? A love story from God, you know, that God chose, that he picked out, that he made. So the word that God, God has for us today is, um, he just gave me this scenario. Again, we have read many, many books in the Bible, even if we skimmed through some of them and didn't read the entire story, but we got in some type of insight and revelation and God speaks his, he speaks to us like his word fills us and he speaks to us through his word. That's the only way that you can receive from him. That's the only way you can move forward is with God's word and what he speaks, whether it's um, spiritually, prophetically, meaning like in a dream, a vision, or he'll send a messenger. He has his angels of light. He had, oh, God always sends a messenger. So let's get into this message. All, a lot of the women, most of the women that you have read about in this Bible concerning the kings and the queens and the, mar the marriages, God brought the woman to the man. In each story, these women prepared and prepped. Just like Adam and Eve, she came from the rib and he sold up the rib and he bought bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. He bought the woman to the man. He bought that woman out of the man. That's the only that was the only way. That was the only way. So he would know. So his eyes would be open to know she is from me. She is from me. And that's because they were knitted together. God knitted them together. God created them to be together. And that's why God says the man will know. He will know when God brings the woman he always prepares the woman he sends a messenger an angel a helper a destiny helper naomi was ruth destiny helper whether she knew it or not the spirit of the lord led these people to prepare and led the helpers to help them to prepare esther was well, she was what sent by the king she was sent with several women what happened she won favor so in these stories, in these stories is the same thing that happens today with us. God preps and prepares us. God gives us destiny helpers for a short period of time or maybe long term midwives, um, um, spiritual mothers, spiritual sisters in Christ that he knows will get us to those open doors, to those gates of heaven, to cross over into that land 
that God knows he can use us to glorify the kingdom. It's so, it's so beautiful. It's so profound. It, 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 it's mind blown how God did it for them. And, the, and that's the same way God is doing it for the women of God and the men of God. Now, I can't speak for the men because I am not a man. I can only speak for how God operated in my life for this kingdom marriage journey from the beginning of my life, of my journey of healing, um, pruning, transforming me, changing, removing people, places, and things so I can stay focused, so um, uh, so I won't be in any confusion, um, distractions, people that was unclean spirits. God had to remove people in order for me to move forward with him to the next level, to even open up this marriage mantle. Um, excuse me. So that's how God operates. He removes people that cannot come along with you on that marriage journey in your ministry, in your life. However, God uses you. He uses everybody differently. As we know, he uses us in careers, jobs, and he uses us in ministries, churches, in the body of Christ, all around the world, all over the world. Um, bringing us together under um, one body. But the way he brought these women to the man, Ruth, was preparing. She was in the field. She was doing the work that the Lord led her to do because she had no other choice to make ends meet to bring home bread and she won favor. She had favor and that's you woman of God. You have favor in the sight of man, favor with God. So that man will take notice of you out of the bunch, out of the bunch, yeah, of women. There was always other women around in these stories. If you go back and read, there was always multiple women around, but you, woman of God, has favor in that man's sight. And God, at a, at a certain, at a specific time, at a perfect, God's perfect timing, that door opens because that man has sent for you. That man will need you. Adam needed his wife. What's his name? Um, what's the Esther? Esther Mordecai? No, not Mordecai. <laughs> not Mordecai. The man, the king, and Esther. <laughs> Y'all know who it is. He sent for Esther. She won favor out of all out of all the women that was preparing and prepping. And I'm sure there was other gorgeous women. You know, you know, as much as Esther was, you know, as they said, spoke about in the um, the book of Esther that she was, you know, beautiful. But God does the same as that he's doing the same thing in the millennial with us. The same exact thing, the same exact thing. And God wants you all eyes to be open and to receive how he's going to do it. Because the way you think he's going to do it, and the way you think things is lined up and is going to happen, there's some ups and downs. There's some toss and turns throughout it. There's warfare. There's some hurt and some pain. But of course, God gives us peace in that. There's a lot of warring. Like I said, there's a lot of warfare before you even get. And even while you're in it, your relationship with your kingdom spouse, kingdom spouse, there's warfare that you have to get through. And God gets you through each level of that. Because they all had some type of warfare. The book of Ruth, Esther. Um, it, it was some type of warfare in order to um come together completely with your spouse to some hurdles to jump in that area 
And um, that's what God sent me here to say um, that keep an eye open for how he's going to present you to your husband. Because it could be you reaching out to them. It could be you being led to a cafe, to a restaurant, and your husband is going to be there. So that's why he moves things. He makes the path clear so you can focus. Clearing clearing your mind, not having no distractions because, of course, Satan brings counterfeit distractions. And I'm not meaning a counterfeit guy for, to interrupt. It's not that. It can, honey, it can be women. It can be women that Satan will try to use jealous, envious, Maybe things is not turning out. Maybe they can't handle their handle their mantle of standing because it looks hard. And when you look at the situation, it does look hard. But when you look unto God and what he says, oh, honey, it's a different story. When you listen to what God says about your marriage, not what the man says, not what people and family say, not what your own thoughts say. That's why we cast down every high imagination that exhausts itself against the knowledge of God. We have to, into captivity. We have to pull it down in the name of Jesus. We have to pull it down. We have to pull it down because our mind wanders too because we are human. And that's why sometimes it's good we have to turn over our plate every now and then. <laughs> Not to the point where we passing out or about to faint because we still have to fill our souls. Our, we have to fill our spirits. We have to fill our body to have. We still need our strength, our muscles, our energy. We still need our, our minds and eating, you know, eating healthy and eating the proper foods and just taking care of our temple. It's very, very important and even that going into the marriage because it's desires of the husband as well. They have desires and requests from God as well about you. And I I can testify to that being joined and connected to my kingdom spouse. Their, their wants and their desires and their needs and what they like and how they want you to be and look like. That's part of submission because remember this is not even he God teaches us how to love and that's loving unconditionally of wanting to please our spouse wanting to please and submit to our spouses what they desires we have desires we want things to be you know how we want things to be you know it we all have different things that we love and like and that we will that we require also the men they have a list of things that they require in the name of Jesus so um i think that is it god brought that about and placed it on my spirit because um he knows there is women that wants things that they think that the men is going to come to them but that is still a way that they will come to them because See, God already places a time for them to accept you and choose you. And, and they're going to be in love with you because you are created from them the way it was in Adam and Eve. The same exact way. That special person, that special God-ordained person, it's in his will, it's in alignment. Um, is for the kingdom. His will is in alignment with him, with God, and is what he chose. You you did not pick and choose this man. If you picked and choose this man, that's not a kingdom marriage. That's not a marriage that's in the kingdom because your marriage, God is supposed to choose. We're we're waiting for God to either reveal to our spouse reveal to us who our spouse is, and for God to reveal our spouses. Um, to our spouses who we are, they have to be ready and open to receive us. Us in the name of Jesus. What yeah, so like I was saying, there there are there can be women around you that can be blessing blockers too, hindering you that God 
wants you to remove your stuff, extract yourself from these people. And he will warn you. He will warn you. He will send instructions. There is people that are witches that could be trying to be connected to you or connecting herself to you. They were not sent by God to be a part of your life, your destiny with you and your husband. You know, God will reveal them because so that's what he did with me. That's what God did with me. Um, he uses people for temporary. That's how God works. He will use people temporarily to come to you. That's like if you see someone at the supermarket and someone, they're a prophet or they speak into your life. It could be a random person. That's temporary. That's not for you to take down your phone, exchange phone numbers and stay in communication. But even with that, discernment we will know god will allow you to exchange phone numbers and things like that but immediately god moves quickly if god opens up the door to you align with someone a group group or individual um he will allow it and then god will remove and replace quick god does stuff quick he does stuff for a reason he does stuff to test God does us does think does things to test us to see if our discernment is sharpened to see if we are wise if we are using our wisdom um to see testing our motives to test and see are is she really hearing from me and listening we all get tested and it can be it can be rough but everything is possible. We all make mistakes. Nobody is perfect. God fixes us, cleans us up. We repent. We repent. We forgive. We take an acknowledgement, especially a lot of leaders, teachers, coaches, um, pastors. You know, we, we must acknowledge things that goes on in our lives to be better and to help deliver and heal someone else we we how can we walk around and not take accountability for ourselves this is the celsius drinks that i um that i like they're energy drinks and burns body fat and accelerates metabolism if anybody was looking for something like that's not like um a lot of calories because this says zero sugar so this is called the Oasis Vibe Sparkling Prickly Pear Lime Edition. So if you were looking for like a little sparkling drink, something healthy, you might not um if you you might not drink soda. So this can be a replacement for soda is much healthier. So yeah, this is a really really um I just thank God for using me for his glory here to help heal and deliver my brothers or my sisters. Um, and this word is a kingdom marriage word. It's for who God leads to come across this channel of prophetic healing ministry, who is for, they will know, um, it will resonate with their spirit, um, the spirit of the Lord. And God just wants you definitely to know that how he did it for me, he will do it for you. How he took that hard thing, God rest my spiritual mother, my first and only spiritual mother, um, God rest her soul, Recent, you know, she said, I want, do you want the easy thing or the hard thing? And even in that moment, being in my flesh, not all the way walking with Christ and being a follower of Christ and doing things in order, the right way, aligned with God, I'm like, shoot, I want the easy thing. That's what our flesh wants, the easy thing, easy bake oven. But the hard thing is what stands the test of time. What can stand some storms and the test of time, like true love, the true love of God, which he, God, always wants us to love him first and get to know him first before the provision you know, in the vision and the plan and things like that before he sends our spouse. He makes sure that we are sturdy, strong, and we are seeking him. Um, because that's the way our the marriage the marriages will last. Is having God 
right there in the center at all times. You know, at all times, as much as possible. God knows that our life will do a complete turnaround, a complete change when the husbands come. Because we have to operate in a certain order. Things change. You know, you're, you're combining families. You know, um, some some um, husbands already have children that's young. You know, there's a turnaround. Your husbands have jobs. They have things that they um, do on a regular. So there's a transition in, in the families. So you, you have to have balance with your children, with your spouse, with yourself, with your ministry. You know, all of that has to be joined and the pieces have to come together. And God knows how to put those pieces together. That's why at a cert at a point in time of your life things he knows he knows how he knows what he has you doing he knows what he has your spouse doing and how y'all can join and then y'all will be able to sit down and discuss these things and map these things out with God your husband is receiving from God um the best way they understand and both of you man shall not be alone Man shall not be alone. Y'all need each other. Man, sh what it says, man shall not live on bread alone. Matthew 4, 4 um, speaks about that. Because the we cannot live off bread alone. Bread, The bread of God is life. That's what fills us up. That's what gives us the nutrition. That's what gives us momentum to move forward. We need it. We need the bread, the life of his word. We need God's word. That's how we move forward. So, yeah, how how God, boy, this is I'm going to be a very, very long message, but God brought me to my kingdom spouse. And it was a specific time that he was ready and that he was tired to receive and even though there was some interference some tug of war which happens in the kingdom you got the darkness you got the light there's some tug of war there was a it's a it was a war between the enemy trying to fight with me and my kingdom spouse and he might not have been a hundred percent clear but god allowed me to pour into my kingdom spouse god allowed me to explain things at a certain time not just babbling, rambling, and just speaking out of context in the flesh. No, a lot of things came from the Holy Spirit and my husband was open, had a heart and mind to receive it so he can be vigilant and he can be alert and clear of what's happening around him in his life, my life, everything. And he was available and he was willing. All that he had to endure and go through the same as us women of God, what we gone through and dealt with a lot of pain. And I'm not saying pain like hurt, like hurt pain, but just a lot of warfare, witchcraft being done. Things that we, that's under the world that we don't even know about that's trying to fight against our destiny with God. He, he allowed me and had me, if I wasn't um, in the right alignment if I wasn't in you know just right standing mentally and prepare and preparing knowing that I was going to be receiving my husband I would have missed it I could have missed it and that's what God don't want you to do he do not want you women of God to miss it how he's going to align you and your kingdom spouse, whether y'all have already met before or whether this is a brand new um, marriage covenant, a brand new covenant by God. He would have me pour into my spouse um, the word of God, uh, any instructions God was saying to me, um, information that God was speaking to me. Whether I was 100% sure or clear, God was testing me to see how bold am I for him? How bold am I to him? Are you going to help set your husband free and get him delivered and speak truth 
speak what I'm speaking to you, to him, to set him free, to set the captives free from being held hostage mentally. We, us as women and the men, all of our lives had been held up mentally. We had been captive, held captive, hostage in chains and shackles, being slaves to this world and being slaves to people pleasing, people pleasing men, humans, mothers and fathers, family, relationships, relationships, of course, that we didn't know was not from him, relationships that we wanted, the relationships that we chose and we picked, you know, being slaves in captivity to those kind of people in the spirit of darkness, not seeing the light and being like, um, naturally just, you, this is our gesture. This is just the way we operate in our life. This is how, oh, this is what I'm used to. Not knowing that is something greater on the other end. There's something better, eternal, something you can fall in love with and be filled up and you don't have to feel insecure, have low self-esteem. You can trust. This is what God has done to these men. They can trust. They know this is forever. They are in love. They are happy. They feel at peace. They feel full. And they feel full because of you, woman of God, because of how you love, honor God. And how you fear God, you are you are a fear a uh, um woman who fears God. <laughs> and God sent me here to share this because this is what has taken place in my marriage testimony, and He wanted me another day to share. Um, more with you and not sure if he'll have me sharing. I'm sure he will as, you know, time goes, how um, things turned out and it was not smooth selling. There was, there was definitely um, a tug of war to stop it, to um, cause me to withdraw, to cause me to pull back, to cause me to give up and throw in the towel. But now I can say it's done. It is here. We are standing in it. God did it. God did it. God opened up that man's heart. God opened. God pulled those strongholds down that we didn't even know was there. That I wouldn't have never been able to do alone or by myself. None of it I could ever have done alone or by myself is only the hand of God moving the spirit of God, not by might, not by power, but by the spirit of the Holy Spirit. Only God could have moved a mountain like that. That was a hard thing. God rest my spiritual mom's soul. God rest her soul. That was a hard thing. So just know that it might take you, some of you, to bring that prodigal home, to not give up because giving up on that man is giving up on God because that is God's son and he loves him just as much as he loves you and will do anything for you, like providing clothes and food and material things for you, finances for you. That's how he feel about those men. Aren't they more valuable? Isn't that human, that human, that man more valuable than anything else? God will have you given up everything. God turned this house upside down. Nothing. I have really nothing. Like I'm I'm actually happy that I can count on my hand how many shoes I have or purses I have. Because God said, I'm doing a new thing. I'm doing a new thing. Everything had to go. The sofa, everything. Everything. I'm surprised he ain't telling me to give away the TV. Then we won't have a TV, but he know we need entertainment. He know there is kids in the home and, you know, things like that. But I am going to end here until next time. I hope you all are blessed and encouraged by this message um, that is intended for all of my brothers and sisters. And I will be back 